Pietro Orlandi, the brother of missing Vatican citizen Emanuela Orlandi, met with Alessandro Didi for more than eight hours. Didi is the Vatican's promoter of justice, a figure similar to the state attorney general. The two discussed the recent reopening of the investigation into Emanuela's disappearance in 1983. <laughs> I have to say that I found a lot of willingness coming from Didi, from the promoters, to provide clarity. The very fact that they had said that I received the assignment from Pope Francis and the Secretary of State to give 100 percent clarity, investigate 360 degrees, and not discount anyone. Orlandi expressed his satisfaction with his meeting at the Vatican. He said that in 40 years, no one had ever listened to him as they did in that encounter. He explained he was able to make all his petitions known and even hand over a list of names of people in high positions who he believes may have some information about what happened to his sister in 1983. I listed all the people, cardinals who need to be questioned because, in my opinion, they could almost certainly have had a role and be aware of the facts. They did not exclude anyone. The list included Cardinals Giovanni Battista Re and Leonardo Sandri, and the then commander of the Vatican Security Force. Orlandi also praised how Alessandro Didi has compiled all the existing documentation of the case over the last 40 years. In an interview with Corriere della Sera, the promoter of justice acknowledged that there were many documents covered in dust. In the past, the Vatican always said there was not even a piece of paper on the case. But evidently, among the things that came out are pages covered in dust, documents dating back a long time ago. Emanuela Orlandi's brother hopes to have further meetings with the Vatican's promoter of justice and learn more about his sister's disappearance 40 years ago.